Right, Grandad, the old Sunbeam. Sunbeam Torbett 90. I cannot understand why these cars are not achieving more than what they do. They've got to be a fabulous bike. Don't forget, I said it about scimitars five, six years ago. Now look at the way they've gone. They've gone up. It's not rocket science. If something's too cheap and it's worth mold, there's only one way it's going to go is up. So use your common sense. Get one of these bought while you can. I mean, five and a half to seven and a half buys you a nice one of these. And they are such good value for money. Now, I just drove this car. I saw it last week. And it's nice, lovely. It's not immaculate, but it's very, very nice. Um, when I say it's not immaculate, I suppose it is immaculate. But it's not concours, put it that way. And, uh, and, um, and I sort of poo-pooed it a little bit. Maybe that's what I'm doing now, I don't know. But, it, but that's the way they are, I'm afraid. But then I've just got it off the, picked it up last night, just got it off the lorry, just drove it, just literally round the village. Two or three people down the road there were thumbs up and waving and that sort of thing because they haven't seen the Sunbeam Torbett 90 for 25 years. And this one drove it along beautifully, obviously. Uh, and, and I just drove it in the car park here to photograph it and I thought, what a cracking car. Now I've only done a mile, but on that mile, I can tell a car, tell if a car's any good and what have you. I can't speak for the water level and all that sort of business. But on that one mile traveling with this car convinces me that I would drive it anywhere. I would have a lovely drive out today down the A1 somewhere, I don't know, New York or wherever it might be, fabulous. And that's exactly what classic cars are all about and that's how they should be. Um, so this one in particular, two-tone as you can see, lovely condition inside, really, really nice. <laughs> Rear suicide door, strange, isn't it? But look at that. I mean, racing pedigree, Pat Moss Carson, I think she drove one. Uh, they were regularly uh, uh, winning or coming highly placed uh, on the uh, on all the rallies and whatever. Um, so a, a, a pedigree performance car that gets up and goes. Um, quick car for its day. I mean, you know, you're talking about what 52, 3, 4, when you, most of the cars on the road were still pre-war. Uh, and this bit like a Mark VI Bentley, when one of these came past you, you thought, wow, I'll have one of them one day. Well, here's your opportunity. Semaphores that seem to be working, dashboards lovely. Gear change is superb, column change, oh, I'll have column change above anything else always. So relaxing. Pre-select a close second, manual down the list. But nice carpets, not overdone, nicely presented, lovely colour, mm. such a usable car. Get yourself down and see this car, you'll be highly delighted with this car. Yeah, nice little mods, just a bit of rubber there, stuff a bit of sound and things. Yeah, it's lovely, everywhere you look at it, just nice, chrome's nice. I mean, when you think that car now is, what, 70 years old or something? I mean, it's great. You know, I know, when you think, think of it like really, that, yeah. You know, I mean, you, you, you see the average modern car now of like eight or nine year old. Nowhere, ne nowhere near as good nowhere as that. Nowhere near as good as that. Lovely, lovely car. Yeah. I'm well impressed with it. Good. There you are, guys, down on display at Thorntondale. Please do come down and have a look.